Hey stampers, it's Gainer again. <coughs> oh, I've got something a little bit different. Well, it's actually, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, what I did last night. I've got a bit of a throb in my throat. Oh, uh, and I've made this in its gift tag box again. I don't know why I've, I've gone raving on. I want to give people presents and I want to give them little gifts before Christmas. Look at that. Where's my pokey tool gone? That is not lined up. Now it is. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to give bigger gift tags. Not done two inches or one and seven eighths because of the tag topper punch. I love the tag topper punch, don't get me wrong. Um, but I wanted to give bigger tags. So I've made a box. This is six inches by one inch by one inch. It may be, it says six and a bit because of the lid. Nice snug fit. And then it's got four of these beautiful luxury tacks inside. And I've used the beautiful blizzard for this one. This one a bit short on the ribbon, but absolutely beautiful. Thinking of you with love. And then you've got space on the back to write your message and who it's to. So I'm going to show you how I made the tags and the box and the decorating. Love the Joyous Noel designer series paper. And their tags are two and... Three, uh, two and seven eighths, but I'm going to show you a different colour lid. Um, I did this but as a prototype because I messed up two of my grey lids because I wanted to use the grey granite. Oh, it do sound a bit froggy, don't I? And also, I want to put an idea to you all. Um, I'm going to start reviewing products, crafting products. So if there's anything you've seen me use, as well as other things, let me know. I'm going to do a face on face with the camera. Honest reviews on crafting products, um, my opinion of them, and I want to I want to run it by you lot, see what you think, what what you reckon to this as well. I love it. So I'm going to show you how I made it. You're going to need um, thick whisper white for the base, and this measures eight and a half by seven, no eight and three quarters. Sorry by, no it is eight and a half, <laughs> eight and a half by seven, and for the lid it is, why have I done eight and three quarters now, yeah it's eight and three quarters the lid because it's going to be slight, an eighth of an inch bigger all round uh, by three, so I'm going to get the scoreboard out, yeah I want, I want some FaceTime on camera, I want to interact with the uh, you guys and uh, I also want to know what you think so I'm going to start the scoring I'm going to use the little one because this is 300 GSM cardstock and it's really thick Let's score it at one four five and eight simple and then turn to the side and score at one so that again is one four five eight turn it once score at one all the way down and with the lid we're gonna score at one four and one eight five and one eight and eight and a quarter because you've got that three and one eight then there get my drift Oh, and then we're going to spin this to the side, and we're going to score this at one. So I didn't do too heavy with that one this time because it's normal cardstock. So it's one, four and one eighth, five and one eighth, eight and a quarter. Turn it to the side and then score at one. Oh, that's our scoring done. I'm going to grab my little snips for the lid. We're going to cut into an angle at this side. This is this tiny little flap we don't need. And I'm going to cut away this score line as well. Perfect. And then what we're going to do, we're going to cut up and notch in ever so slightly. And we're even going to hide the, the flaps so there's only flap in the side. It's going to be that one down the side. 
because I've asked people have asked me will I do this will I do that you know and I want to go on camera so you can see my expression for one I want to start reviewing products because I I, I want to give you my opinion on products so right for me just to sit here and go this one's the best when I haven't tried it against anything else so because if you notice I use one two three four different types of tear tapes maybe five um so i want to give reviews on tear tape i want to give reviews on liquid glues i want to give reviews uh, honest reviews as well what i love about them what i'm not fussed about um which one i think is not so much about the cheapness neither it's about the durability of it and I want to be honest and true. So let me know what you think. You get to see my face a bit more. <laughs> Ooh, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You don't see many people sitting there saying, well, I bought this today and blah, blah, blah. It does this, it does that. It's no good for this, but it's brilliant for that. So I want to do things like that. So you get a bit of the best advice, really. I don't want you to go out there and buy something that's rubbish. Right, we've scored and burnished. We've got our little flap. But I'm going to add some of my tear tape to it. Now, this one is Stamping Up's tear tape. I've got a quarter inch. I've got one eighth of an inch. I've got the, um, oh, what's that one? Souk Wang. And I tell you what, that is absolutely fantastic. And I love it. So precise. Craft stash. I think this is a quarter. Yeah, this is one quarter of an inch. Um, Stamping Ops one is a quarter as well. But I just bought it It's because of the size of the roll for one. And it was pretty cheap. But I was, I've seen people use it and they said how wonderfully strong it is. And it is. So, there's our lid. We're going to just, I'm going to fold this one over there. Come across and... Make sure it all lines up perfectly. Give it a burnish, and then we're gonna we're gonna keep our seam at the back. Oops, I got a little bit of overhang there. Why have I put my scissors away? See, it's just that little touch there makes all the difference. So. This is our back flap. So we're going to tuck this one in. Oops. It will square up, trust me. And then I'm going to use my, I love this glue, Cosmic Shimmer. It's brilliant. And you can get these on offer sometimes and they're really good. And I'm going to tuck our flaps in. Ever so gently, I'm just going to hold it there and it sticks in seconds. Then I'm going to pop, pop, glue, oh sorry, coming off camera, sorry about that, across here. Don't need a lot. The more you use of this, the longer it takes to dry. Um, but it doesn't mean you've got to use more just to get a good fix. You don't need a lot of this glue. So my seam now, and when this dries, it dries clear and not tacky like Tombow. Um, just, and then I'm going to just go inside my bone folder. I mean, the only reason I've done that is because in case you wanted it for chocolate or something else or bigger items, you don't have to just use this box for gift tags. So I wanted to use it. I wanted to hide so it's smooth down there. I know it's a dark one at the minute, you can't see it. The only seam we have is this little tiny one here, which is tucked away in there. But this now, I know this is going to be the back of my box, and this is all straight and purple. Uh, purple. <laughs> oh gosh, look at me trying to do that as well. <laughs> oh, do you really want to review off me? <laughs> at least it won't be boring. <laughs> So now we are going to cut away this tab here. Again, just take off the score line and then mitre in. 
and at the bottom as well. Don't forget the bottom one. Because this is quite long. I have got a frog in my throat, haven't I? <laughs> and then we're going to do the same with these. Just going to cut exactly the same up the centre. Little tiny nick. Take that away. I'm going to hide these ones as well. I mean, don't forget to mite at the other end on this one as well because I tend to do this bit and forget. So what I would like to do now, because I don't want to take too much off, I'm going to come in from the corner so I don't cut past it and just take that little nick there. So for the sake of spinning it round, I haven't chopped off way too much. Before we burnish, now I don't need my little scissors anymore. Before we burnish, we're going to fetch in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. And I cut mine down four by six. So I had to just take it down to five and seven eighths. And on the long side, I cut my seven eighths of an inch strip, which is for these parts, first. Then I cut this down to two and seven eighths, and I was just left with a smidgen. So I have got a tiny little border all the way around, showing off this gorgeous paper. I've got one there as well for that one, and just keep them all lined up. And then this piece as well. So the box is decorated all round. So we're going to glue those on now using my Cosmic Shimmer Glue because I love it. Like I say, you tiny little bit. You literally just need more or less on the ends than anything else. And just some nice placement. I'm not squeezing the bottle. I'm just putting it down. And then I just line this up. It's got ever such a small border, which I love. And that's it. That's dry, believe it or not. And you know when we burnish our score lines now, we will be burnishing that down as well at the same time. So we're killing two birds with one stone. But make sure you just got a line at the bottom. A couple of lines, little lines down the side. A little squirt in the middle. And this stuff is amazing. Keeping it lined up at the bottom. Little tiny border either side. Just looks absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. So top and bottom. And then just a little, little, tiny little bit. And it glues down a treat. Oops. You can do this while you're here. That is not coming off, trust me. And again, last piece. Isn't that beautiful paper though? You don't have to, you're literally just holding the bowl. It comes out beautifully. I don't know why I'm turning it upside down. It doesn't make any odds, I don't think. And I've done and turned it again, look. So, line it up lovely. And that is, that is glued. If I tried to lift that off now, it would rip the white bit of the paper off. So, don't do that. <laughs> so again, I've only got a quarter of an inch now on this side, so I'm going to use my, I'll show you this tape, it's brilliant. I can find the end. There it is. I love this tape, and always go as close to the score line as possible, because if you do it on here, you've got the box seam coming open. Don't go over the score line now, just right up to it. Love this stuff. Uber strong. And uh, look at that, it comes off. It's come the backing comes off beautifully on this. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that off actually. So we're gonna burnish this one. 
first. Oh my gosh, I'm going to burnish that now. What? I'm just going to drag it over. Don't do as I just did. Burnish first. Let's start this end. <laughs> but it doesn't leave any sticky on there. So... Oh, I'm a silly sausage. I always have to make a boob boob somewhere. It wouldn't be the gainer show without a boo boo. <laughs> so start in the middle, work your way out, and then you've even got that glue adhered right down there as well. So while we've got this over, just close your box and then give it a good burnish. And it will help that tape stay down as well. And then we are going to do the same. This is the back of the box. So you pull this one forward. These two over and glue them down. And then this one, you always have your seams at the back. So again, I'm coming in with glue. Love this stuff. And I'm putting the thinnest coat on because, like I say, you're just waiting for it to dry out otherwise. Pop them on. And if you want, just go in with your bone folder. Oops, that one's flicked over. I can literally put that down now. Poke around inside. And we've even got... I know we've got to go back, but there's none of them flaps. You can't see them. It's nice and smooth inside. And just make sure you poke into the corners to keep card stuck down. And the only seam you've got is this little one down the side here. But there's none down there in the bottom. So, let's get this glued down now. And because we've removed those score lines, it, it kept this box lovely. By just closing it right over. So, square it off. Form it over. And I'm just going to use my bone folder. Perfect. So your seam, your back of this is nice. That's smooth. This is where the seam is. And it runs in line with this. So that is the back of the box. Isn't it a cute box? I'm loving this. Right, now our lid will fit. Perfectly. You don't need thumb holes because you're going to be gripping the side of the box to take it off. But there is that beautiful, beautiful box. The um, thing is now, I was gifted all these beautiful ribbons and I've just used the last piece. I know it's not quite the same, but I've used this with the tags. So I'm just going to go and grab some ribbon that I think will go with it. as well. Look, but I don't think that is a bit too bright red. So my friend Georgie gifted me this. I think that might be a bit too dark. That's more like our Blackberry Bliss. But it will match those tags. Which, uh, no, it's a bit too dark. Oh, let me have a look. See what I've got in my stash. What about... Oh, see, I haven't got any Merrow Merlo ribbon. What could we use? I tell you what I'm going to use. And it's got some glitter in it as well. And it's lush. Grab my scissors. I'm going to use a bit of this. Oh, I love this. So I might even just attach it across that way. Just trim that down a little bit more. Oh, just add a little bit. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. 
love that. So I'm going to keep that there for a sec. And I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to use this, uh, I don't know what this one's called. You've got the pretty, you've got everyday labels, you've got the pretty labels, I think, oh, decorative label punch, there we are. And now I know, now I know why ladies put, uh, ta um, stickers on saying which one it is. I'm just going to leave that there. I have got this beautiful stamp, which is from... The snowflake sentiments and it says thinking of you with love because when you give somebody a gift you obviously love them dear enough to give them a, a gift and that's what I like so just gonna stamp this up ink it up even Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. I'm going to grab a couple of rhinestones. And I'm just going to put one either side of the label. Perfect. Just perfect. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab a glue dot as well in a moment, but I'm just going to grab a couple of dimensionals. my lovely box back in and I'm just folding this I want the pattern the ribbon to just go an angle this time make sure that is straight thing is I don't want it to go past So when I grab a glue dot, it's just the one I need to secure that into place perfectly. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Love it, love, love it. And I've got some of these beautiful love hearts. I wish I'd got gold as well, but I haven't. I'm just going to add a couple on to decorate the lid. Just starting off in the top corner with the large one. And then I'm going to add two smaller ones coming down. Oh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Love, 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 love. Ouch. Just not my hand. And I'm going to add three more rhinestones going down there. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? What a gorgeous box. Now to make the tags. I've pre-done some. And what I did, I got a piece of card. This measures two and seven eighths by four and a half. And what I did to get my corners, I literally put it up against the one inch score line. I know this is a little bit over now, but I cut with my first one, one and an eight, and in one and an eight. And then the same, I come to this line. And then, oh, it's, this is actually one down to one and an eighth. It should be over a little bit, but I just drew lines, cut the corners off then. And this was giving me this shape. So I'm going to grab some scrap. And again, I'm going to be using that sentiment that's on the front. Because you wouldn't give a present without loving that person as well. I think this is perfect and I'm just going to stamp that in the centre. Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love. And this cleans off a breeze with the red rubber. And then I'm coming in with this flourish. 
but I'm stamping off. I know I hate that as well, I'm wasting ink. Again, this cleans off a breeze. Done. Perfect. And then these gorgeous snowflakes. So I'm just going to randomly stamp that. Perfect. Love that. Clear that as well. And I can get rid of my Nelly Milo. And I'm coming in with my cropper dyer. And I'm just eyeballing it in the centre. About half an inch down. There we go. Let's get rid of this horrible paper. And I'm going to pop in my little eyelet. And I've got these lovely antique brass looking ones. in there. Oops. And give it a good squeeze. And then what I do is just, just like to tap in case there's anything rough coming out. So I'm going to be using some of that lovely little ribbon. Flip these over and I'm going to push this through. What I'm going to do is going to grab some baker's twine. And we're going to tie these around the very bottom there. I'm just going to twist that back. Oh, these are gorgeous ribbons. I'm going to tie this in a double knot. Oops, I completely missed that loop then. So what you do to pull these a little bit shallower is you can either put your finger in the loop or tightly put it on the knot and it stops them from curling. And then we're just going to trim off the excess. And there is our gorgeous tags. And I've got four of them. And I'm just going to nip that one down a little bit. It's a little bit long. Perfect. Whoops. And I've got these little red snowflakes, but I don't think they oh they don't know, they look quite nice, don't they? Let's have a look. Let's grab my glue dots. I'm gonna pop one and turn it over. And then I'm just gonna add a gem in the centre to hide that sticky glue dot. Oh, these are gorgeous. I've got a fair few of them here. Top and bottom. Whoops. You've got that space on the back to write your message. I just like different styled up tags and I think these are lush. Let's get the tags on. Let's snowflakes on. And then we'll add the gems. Only ten 
it's a bit lovely in there. I think they're so cute. Oh my God, I love this. Loving this colour. Oops. There we go. Mr. Boyce is getting excited about something in there as well. Time to wrap this video up. <laughs> he tends to get a bit loud and swears. He's a naughty boy. So we're just going to add these gem. I'm going to put them in our box and we're done. And these are going... I may only have two of these and two of the other boxes that I did last night. But they're all going towards the prizes for the challenge which ends on the 30th of this month so if you've got an, and I'm going to allow for two late entries because of the papal situation so the lovely Pam Fur and Georgie Burns will be putting in um, some late entries because I won't get them until the 9th I won't get home until the 10th uh, 11th so I'll put them in on the 12th and we'll do the draw the following week after I've sorted out the prizes. So they fit just right into there. You could add, I reckon you could get another four in there. And then your lid fits over the top with that beautiful message. So that's the one I've just done with you now. This is the one I did earlier. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love this paper. This uh, Joyous Noel set is absolutely stunning. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give me a thumbs up. Please let me know what, would, uh, what you feel about uh, me doing reviews on uh, crafting products. And if I've got anything you've seen me use and you want to know how to use it even, or you want more info on it, or you want me to review it against another product, just leave me a comment in the bottom of the box and I'll see what I can do. But I'll be starting that over the next couple of weeks to let them get all the camera set up and get upstairs and I can show you my craft room as well um, so yeah I'll be doing that in the next maybe three weeks so till then love you all oh and by the way please don't press uh, don't forget to please do press the subscribe button <laughs> don't press it oh god bless you all and if you press the bell straight after because I tend to upload every day you'll be notified of all future videos. That way you don't get to miss out. Love you all. Bye.